to fix class not registered error in Windows 11 and Windows 10. Windows class not registered error appears when you try to launch any app or file explorer in your Windows 11 10 PC. The error does not let you get past the message screen. And to fix this issue, the first workaround is restart Windows Explorer. Go to Task Manager under Process tab. Look for Windows Explorer in Task Manager. Right click on Windows Explorer and choose End Task. This process will lead you complete black screen. And to launch Task Manager again, play, uh, press Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete. It will again launch Task Manager. Here, click on Run New Task and open in search field type explorer.exe and press ok windows will now open normal as usual and check whether your class not registered error is fixed or not if not go to the next fixes and the second workaround to fix this issues is go to windows settings from the left pane go to apps thereafter go to right side and choose default apps and scroll down and you will find the option reset all default apps click on reset option and restart system and check whether your error is resolved or not if not go to the next fix the third workaround is go to windows search type cmd and open command prompt windows as administrator mode in command prompt windows re-register all your dll file uh, to re-register re DLL file, execute this command in command from Windows and press enter and restart your system after executing the command. Press enter and after that restart or check whether your error is resolved or not. If not, go to the next fixes. Again, go to Windows search, type PowerShell and open PowerShell as administrator mode re-register your microsoft store apps in powershell execute this command all this command will also available in my video description you may copy from there and paste it and press enter to re-register your all microsoft store apps in windows 11 and windows 10. the next workaround to fix this issues is go to run command box and execute the command rstru it will open your system restore utility and restore system files and settings click on next and choose a restore point restore your computer to the state it was in before the selected event click on next and confirm your restoration point and 